Today I'm going to be reviewing this hot seat party game that was recently sent to me by the brand. So let me go and open this up, show you exactly what you're going to get inside and how it's played. So this is everything that's going to come with. This one did come with the expansion pack. I don't know if that's included in all of them, but that was actually saran wrapped here to the top. So essentially it's going to give you more cards. How this game is actually going to be played is you're going to take turns going around the table or around the room, whatever it happens to be. And one person is going to be in the hot seat at a time. And what you're going to do is you're going to draw a card for that person that's in the hot seat, and then that's going to be read aloud. So for example, I'm just pulling one out here in the middle. I will be the next person in the room to blank. Respond by filling in the blank to complete the sentence. And then each person around the room is going to give the answer. So they're going to write what they would think the person in the hot seat would write. Essentially, you want to get all of the other players around the room to guess that your answer was actually the person in the hot seat's answer. So you want to try and get in their brain. So for example, it might be to get up and go to the bathroom, or it might be to go get a drink, or it might be to, I'll be the next person in the room to fart or whatever the case might be. All of those different, you know, things you could think of that you might be the next person in the room to do. Each person is going to get a little pad like this. It does come with a lot of different ones. So I've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I've got 10 different pads and truthfully, you could even tear off some of these if you wanted to, and you could like split them up. So you could play with a lot of different people with these. They're all designed to be exactly the same. So the only thing would be like the person in the hot seat would need to go through and read each one of these to make sure that, you know, it's not, uh, no one knows exactly who it is that said them. Also, so that, you know, they don't uh, look at the handwriting and try and guess who said, read it, that sort of thing. So let me give, give you some examples of some of the other cards. What would I do if I had 24 hours to live? What is the worst thing I've ever done? What should be my new nickname? What world leader leaderboard would I be ranked number one on? What do I have zero tolerance for? What is an unwritten rule that I believe everyone should follow? So there's a bunch of variety of different ones. And then of course you're gonna keep score. So for this, you're just gonna write the name and then probably tally marks, like whoever actually gets the number of them right. And you can play up to a certain number. So totally up to you if you wanna play like up to 10 or play up to somebody gets five, kind of like apples to apples, that sort of a deal is how this game is played. Now, there's obviously a bunch of different ways you can play this, like different variations. So if you want to keep score, it does give you some different scoring options. So for example, the player in the hot seat gets one point for each player that correctly guesses the answer that they wrote. But then other players can also get points. So one point for each player that guesses your answer two points for guessing the player in the hot seats answer correctly. So for example, if I guess the person in the hot seats answer, I guess it's theirs out of all the other ones, then I will receive two points. And then you can actually get four points by responding with the same answer as the player in the hot seat. Now, if you're playing with a lot of people, that sort of scoring could get pretty confusing. So you might want to simplify it a bit. You can really just add points based on, you know, who whoever gets theirs guessed right, like in the hot seat, then they get points. And so then it just goes its way around. So you, the person in the hot seat is the only one that gets points on that turn. You could also make it where the only people who get points are those who are guessed. And so that would make the scoring a little bit easier. And so you don't have to worry about the hot seat guests and those, you know, adding all those different variations in. But there's some different scoring variations that you can do. Of course, you could just follow what the instructions are. But overall, a pretty fun party game.